This is What You're Reading with Jake Tapper. My favorite book is The Paperboy by Pete Dexter. Pete Dexter is one of my favorite authors, and this is one about journalism and criminality, and it's a thriller, and it is great. Uh, it was made into a movie that was okay, but the book is just fantastic, one of my favorites of all time. A book from my childhood, I read a lot as a kid. Uh, the books, the earliest books I remember reading were the Ant and Bee books, which is this British series. Um, my parents were uh, real Anglophiles, my mom anyway. Uh, but I also remember a book called The King and His Six Friends, which was a, a favorite of mine reading it as a kid. A book that makes me cry. I haven't read it in a long time, but Ellie Wiesel's Night, which is a non-fiction account of his childhood in the Holocaust. Very sad and true. A book that made me fall in love with reading, probably it's fair to say the Frank L. Baum Wizard of Oz books. A lot of people think there's just one, The Wizard of Oz. There's actually a huge collection. And my mom owned the collection and we read them as kids and I would just devour them. That's just, that's the first time I remember just devouring a series of books on my own. My favorite book I read in high school, that's a great question, and it was My Uncle Oswald by Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl obviously wrote a lot of great children's books, James and the Giant Peach, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, all that. But he wrote some very scandalous books for grown-ups too, and one of them is My Uncle Oswald, which was just such a pleasure and opened my eyes to all his writing for adults. Uh, the book I'm reading right now, I'm usually in the middle of two or three books at once. Um, so right now I am reading a biography of Mike Nichols, the director, and I'm also reading David Baldacci's One Good Deed, and I am also reading Harlan Coben's Win. I will finish all three of them. Um, just depends on my mood and when I'm reading in paper, and One Good Deed I'm reading on my phone. And then the Mike Nichols one is if I'm in the mood for uh, nonfiction. A book I can't wait to read is whatever Nick Hornby is writing next. I love Nick Hornby. His stuff is so good about a boy. And I mean, there's just so many. There's just so many books. And like, I constantly am checking to see if he's written anything recently, just because everything he reads he does a lot of novellas now. He does short novels, uh, which actually is better for me because it just means I get his stuff uh, more quickly. A book I want people to think I've read, but I haven't actually read, Infinite Jest by David Foster Wallace. I just can't. I love his writing, his nonfiction. Um, I've tried Infinite Jest so many times. And one of my friends has read it like 10 times. Talk about rereading. But I just can't. I, I, I just can't. I don't know why. I just can't get through the first chapter. And maybe it's because it's so long and I'm daunted. It's like 7,000 pages long. That's not true, it's 1,000 pages long, but that's really long. A book that I've written is, I've written several actually, but the most recent book comes out May 11th. It's called The Devil May Dance. It is a thriller that takes place in Hollywood in 1962 with the Rat Pack. It is a, a mystery. Uh, my main characters are sent by the Kennedys find out if Frank Sinatra is actually mobbed up or if it's kind of just like a, a thing that he just pretends he plays up for the, for the press. And it's a thriller. They go out to Los Angeles and they meet all these characters from Hollywood from the era and the Church of Scientology and the mob. Lots, lots of stuff goes on. And I, I hope you check it out. The Devil May Dance. I'm Jake Tapper and that's What You're Reading.